live right into them. And we're going live right into the match. No time to spare. Faye's going to be on the CT side. Navi on the T side. And pretty standard type of setup right here. They're trying to see if they can maybe move into the middle and take a little bit of control. But Rain is on the other side. And that smoke is actually stopping anyone from lower dark to try and get him. Rain gets a headshot. And they're trying to see if they can maybe return that middle. Not going to be allowed to. Great start for FaZe. Yeah, they were almost able to actually pick off Olaf Miser. He fell back right into CT spawn so quick. And the whole A defense shifting off of Catwalk, away from Catwalk. They want to go back to a long control. Olaf has the pop flash for Rain and Nico to get around the corner. They're going to see it's clear. Navi have control of middle. Catwalk and simple as an upper dark. Yeah, and he's got that P250, so if if he gets the timing right, he could snipe someone away. Flashbang and smoke, and inside of it, all of my just waiting. Electronic leap that left in there to try and see if he gets something done. Now they're out the middle, and they're going to try and see if they can crunch this B-bomb side. Inside of it, Cold Zero and Brokey, and already gone. Immediately dropped Perfecto with a beautiful double opening. And what do they do now in terms of retaking? That was the absolute coolest call Navi could have made in that moment. This is perfect from Electronic. Him jumping down through that smoke neutralizes the numbers advantage that FaZe had. That left three players on the other side of the map that could not cross the smoke that was dropped in CT spawn. It gave Navi a four on two, or three on two, I should say, at the B bomb site. That was absolutely spectacular in, in my mind, that, that call right there. Nico has nothing left to do in this round. He's got the kit, he's got armor. He's just going to back away, preserve it for the next if he can. Perfecto goes for the peak takes away his armor. Wow, that is, you're right. What an incredible call coming out. After being down a man as well, just trying to make sure you, uh, he actually goes up to the bomb, so. Wow, that is, that's one way that's to a nice turnaround. start things off, yeah. Chad wanted to get excited about Navi, and you know, they, they gave him a little bit to work with. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a tactical dork as well, Chad, so he'll, he'll probably appreciate that. I, I thought it was, I mean, such a cool call. I don't know if that might have been the call from the start was to get that someone in that position, so it might not actually be be that cool. But if it if that came out mid-round, just like, you know, this is how we solve this problem, then then great. Whoever called that deserves a steak dinner. Let's see if we can get right on that. Some grenades, a deagle headshot, so the grenade wasn't even necessary. Flamey now, this is dangerous, don't want to be taken down right here. We've already seen this happen a fair bit on Nuke. Both teams definitely not to be underestimated with the pistols. Yeah, and Olaf doesn't need to move from this position. He just has so much intel that he can gather just being inside of this cave. They hear the drops. Boomich has swapped it out. He's gathering intel. Doesn't need to push push forward. Still, weak in defense in mid and towards the B bomb site. Nico's going to try and make it over. He's got a tag, but he's way too exposed. No chance of him getting back. And Cold Zera, or excuse me, Brokey, should start feeling pretty lonely. Yeah, this is going to be rough. They don't have a lot of grenades against him, so actually maybe he could find some clean shots here with the Deagle. But that mid-push is going to be coming, so if he stays, if it doesn't go quick, he's not going to have a chance. And nice duck under the shot there, Perfecto. Taking out Brokey, and the rest of the threat is again on the other side of the map. So there should be, yeah, really no issue here. Nicely handled, even if they took some, a little bit of damage on Electronic and Flamey. Now we, you know cementing a, a decent start in this round. And I know it's not the sexiest Counter-Strike in the world, but I don't think FaZe should even creep anywhere close to this B-bomb set at this point. You have a Scout, MAC-10, you have a Deagle on Cold Zero, Rain can pass a Deagle over, Olaf can pass a Deagle or the MAC-10 over, so next round you're going to have weapons on all five players. And you have that armor that, uh, that can be utilized. So two to nothing for Navi, but remember, if you're a FaZe fan, don't get too worried. They Navi had a spectacular start on Nuke. They, they did. were up like seven to one or seven to two at one point, and, and yeah. then you know never not, it didn't look good at all from there. Yeah, it kind of all fell apart, didn't it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Boomich surviving inside the bomb site with the bomb, just making sure that was going to be guarded all along. Wait, did Flamey just knife someone at the end of it? Uh, yes, he did. Hmm. Should we get a teammate? Uh, I think he did knife a teammate. Killed him too. Yeah, so that doesn't seem <laughs> doesn't seem like a great idea. But um, apart from that, it's been a decent start here for Navi. 2 0 in their favor. Third round. And again, we're seeing the deals carried on over. Olaf stole the Mac 10, and there's that one scout on Nico that we haven't really seen too much out of yet, apart from the, I think the tag on the electronic earlier. So it's a very sort of peaceful start here to the map. It's nothing nothing crazy that we're seeing at the moment. Be fun to see how Navi are going to be, you know, playing this one. They did not have a good time on that T side of Nuke. That was really, really rough on them. Had a couple of, you know, clearly a couple of plans. 
much of it sort of involving electronic leading a little bit of the charge on his own over towards the secret stairs. Don't know if we're going to see a similar kind of adaptation on on Dust 2, obviously a very, very different map. All of us are all the way down at the long doors again, so getting that information. Yeah, gotta gotta like that position, especially with the Mac 10. If he does see that shadow, remember the shadow gives away when you enter that cave as well, so he'll have a free second or two before any kind of response. Some nades, some utility, flashbang is out, Brokey's blind, Rain's blind, they have to drop down. Cold Zera's there, but this is a, like a three-man deagle firing squad up towards Catwalk. Yeah, this could get actually dangerous. Cold at it again. Oh. Rain with the follow-up. More headshots are coming through. And a lot of trouble now on the other side. Boomich, can he bring it back? There's still two more people to go. He's taking down Brokey, and he's trying his very best. But you know, it's not going to be long before Cold shows up as well. Rain has gone down. It's still a 2 on 3 and Boomich actually spawned them back in the round. It is a 2 on 2 I can't believe he's managed to do that. And Olaf has the MAC-10. He can't provide any assistance from Long. He's got to back away and meet up with Nico. The nice thing is, that needs to be a... Eagles did so much work, but I don't think they can add anything on top of it. Shouldn't be able to. Mac 10 spray, just a little bit random, not really connecting. It's a good amount of damage, but they still actually need to find the kill. All of them are gonna get one, but Boomich should be able to hide long enough. He doesn't need to take any kind of a fight. Should know there's no kit or anything in play. And all of my stuff, he's almost already out of time. The jump up and Boomich with the quad kill to save his team. That is way too close. I, that, that, what, that's like a movie sequence. What a cool hold from those three deagles. Rain, Cold Zera, and Brokey doing work. Almost stealing a round away from Na'Vi, but as it stands, three to nothing. Op is out on Nico. And four rifles, four M4s around it. They have plenty of utility. Just the one kid on Olaf, but Nades is, is looking good. Man. Yeah, I, they, it's almost like they got... They got so excited about getting those kills that they just kept on fighting Boomich when yeah. maybe they could have slowed it down. Hard Absolutely. To, hard to criticize that. Because you just know, like, you, the adrenaline is going to get to you. Especially around where you just have the Deagles as well. You're trying to do something something special. Nico being very patient. They've got Cold Zera periodically checking the double door. Oh, that is very bold. I hope it pays off for him because that's a huge risk to take if you don't get anything from it. Free kill. He's blind on top of everything. That might have been overkill. He didn't even know it was coming. And if they were really in position, they probably would have just said, okay, let's go long right now. Like, let's just because we've lost the rest of the map, so we have to go. But they weren't. They were quite far out of being in position for any kind of a long rush. So now it's this is very, very hard around of cold if you're a Navi. Yeah, if you split up like this, not only is it taking a lot of time off the clock, but uh, there's almost no chance that, you know, even if you clear out these upper tunnels, your only option is just to kind of go up catwalk, and at that point, the time is going to be so low. That or they could try and execute a fake. I mean, that feels like what they're doing. Maybe they're trying to see if they could bait someone into peeking against Simple out at long. So they make a bit of noise, and then, you know, someone goes look looking at long. Simple takes one, and then they just go. But that hasn't happened yet. You see him looking this whole time, just... Waiting for it. There was the chance, but now they get spotted, and now it's really uncomfortable because the it's fact that the Nico. orb is out there. Yeah, you have to go, right? 20 seconds coming in from Catwalk as well. Nice pick off on Boomich as Nico will fall back down to the low ground in a five versus three. And yeah, time has simply run out. That, which is which is unfortunate because that's a very weird defensive setup. Even with Nico getting that kill and dropping, you don't have any real good hold on Catwalk. Electronic could have peeked off there, and Olaf is in the awkward position inside the bomb site. He can't move into the bomb site because it's Molotov and there's an op at long, and he can't move anywhere else because then he's just out in the open with absolutely no cover whatsoever. So if Navi had a little bit more time and was way more committed to that hit on Catwalk, that could have been very dangerous for FaZe. Yeah, I agree. I had a really odd round all in all. But you, you see the brilliance you said, you know, you, you hope that it, would, it was going to work out with that aggressive push, and it really did. And the, the problem there, or the issue that it, that it presented for Na'Vi was huge. Just even four on five, which is, you know, obviously you can come back from that. It's the fact that they lost the map. They had to get back, try and sort of reclaim it. Didn't even find anyone while trying to do that. 
boost didn't work out, but Rain still gets a headshot. And down the middle is Olaf Meister with the AK-47. And suddenly it's looking like another good start here for FaZe. And he'll just keep on going. I like this Olaf Meister. I'll take him all day. He's already spoken for, Jason. He's got a <laughs> contract lined up. Perfecto and Flamey, two versus four at the moment. But yeah, that's the kind of Olaf Meister a lot of his opponents probably hope to never see again. Because it was... It was rough when it was going on. Yeah, those are just some straight up duels won. No issues, immediate headshots. Perfecto picks up the M4, gonna try and do some work in middle, burns all off out of the closed doors, position it again. A little bit, little bit awkward for Nico at the A bomb site. now transitioning over towards the railing, but the only real defender at this A bomb site. now that he's in this position, it gets a bit more comfortable and he's got Cold Zera out towards the long, the long cave. I mean, they are playing four individual positions here, FaZe, and, and that's that can sometimes get a bit weird, because otherwise, you'd, if you're just playing for trades, then you win every two on four, pretty much, but... It's fine as well when Cold Zero starts yeah. to execute this flank. When he hits the timing... Ooh. I mean, it should still be... Even if they even if they get Nico here, the flank is going to be happening so quickly that yeah. they can't really expect it, and now it's, now it's certainly done. He's got them locked up here. There's no chance at all. The flashback, <laughs> actually, that's a friendly flashbang, but they line up for him perfectly. He gets a kill and comes back for seconds as well. So good double on him. Nice timing. Frustrating, no doubt, for Na'Vi, just even not even getting a chance to even try and fight for that. No, but I do I do like that they change the pace, right? They're trying to do that really fast, really aggressive play out mid, and if it's not for two stellar shots from Olaf Meister, he just shuts this down right at the start. Look at that. Like, what are you supposed to do? Simple's even swinging into a smoke a little bit. This, he's prepared after the Molotov, immediate headshot on Electronic. That's the two heavy hitters of Na'Vi, just down for the count, thanks to Olaf. Tough round to come back from. One round lead for Navi, but they are stuck on pistols. No armor even. Yeah, so do what you can on your own in a round like this. Hope to get a bit quick kill. Actually could be dangerous. If they get one of the guys in the B-bomb side pretty quickly, they can try and do it. Simple's already down though, and trying to distract from that window for a while, but not gonna be quite enough, I think. Flamey, pretty good pickup at the end. Two good kills in this round and shouldn't be allowed to get much more than this. The bomb is on the other side, so you have to cross somehow. Should throw the op away. That's a double op setup you're taking away, and you already know it. You've taken one out, and you've Nico's gotten a kill with the other op. Throw that over something. Hide it. Toss it. There's he's, nothing to throw it over. He's trying. Yeah, yep. Get up. Oh, oh. You got the right idea. Tempted by the grenade, though. He's like, all right. He wants one. He's going to get greedy. It's... It's almost shocking with the amount of noise he's made that no one has, you know, been tempted to try and kill him. I'll shoot him in the back eventually, and that does give the orb back. We told you so, Flamey. Well, regardless, it's a tie up three, three to three now. Listen, Cold Air is no slouch with the orb. That's a painful weapon to give back to the defense. Nico's got the other. And we're all tied up, as you said. So, four AKs and a Krieg on simple. Have we seen the op yet on the T side? I think maybe. No. No, I don't think so. And obviously, you'd, you'd really want that. Boom, it's going to be going fast catwalk. The cover of smoke. Electronic is going to get up there with them. So they can actually pressure pretty quickly as utility usage at long is called out. That's Flamey to keep an eye on it. Out by the car. And I, I, I don't know, against the double op, clearing the corner without any flashbangs, just making the jump like that. It's kind of a huge risk, in my opinion. Didn't get punished for it, but still. Bomb is far away, but they've I mean, they've done all of the initial prep work to set up for some sort of B-split here. This is an angle and a half from Cold Zera. This is a real ride-or-die position to be in. Here we go, simple, trying to jiggle peek it. Oh, and that, he just lingered a bit too long. Counter utility coming out from his teammate. Brokey, we mentioned that pairing. This is one of the maps where they working together is, is a real treat to watch. And Olaf, again, is not afraid to pressure in towards this long cave and take control of this entirely. Oh, Flamey, he is almost getting caught. Th that is a nightmare scenario. They both had nades out. Flamey's setting up a really cool smoke for CT spawn, which is normally thrown from, you know, close to middle. 
Almost looked like Rain was about to block it, but uh, playing at the edge, not getting caught anyway. 35 seconds on the clock, and now they're going to try and see if they can swing it back towards the A bomb side. They sort of made noises in the middle, like they're going to try and go B, but actually, it's going to be on the other side. Nico was there to take down Boomich, no problem. And Rain, he's hearing him as well, just seeing the top of someone's head. And he doesn't want to challenge it. I don't blame him for it as well. They're five versus three. Nico set up in case anyone should be bold enough to try and put the bomb down. Flamey had that unfortunate task, and he does not live through it. Ooh, that's a nice headshot, but still two versus four. They have to know Olaf's still around here somewhere. And they haven't even spotted Rain, who's in CT spawn ready and waiting. Olaf just holding the angle. Good kill with the Krieg. Long range. The AK could never get settled. Three kills from the phase ops in this round and what should be a relatively simple retake, even without flashbangs, even without utility. Rain's got the kill. They'll salvage the op surely and keep that double op set up alive. Only losing a single player as well. That's, that's just uh, a lot to work with. Four to three. I, I don't mind. I mean, so much of this had all of the right signals from uh, from Navi's point of view. You know, you clear out catwalk, you throw the grenades in the middle, you're sort of all the time, you're pretending like you're, you're going for it, but FaZe just didn't really buy it. They had a pretty good idea, I think, of what was coming. No, but there's no reason for them to bite now that they have, you know, an AWP and B, and once Cold Zero gets that pick and fall back, you know, you can be reasonably confident they're not going to want to, you know, attack into your position and do another AWP. You've got one at the A bomb site, and they got the first three kills of the round. It's also, when they when they took catwalk, right, they didn't take it from anyone. Yeah. They were, so, you know, it's not like FaZe were pushed back from catwalk and then had to say, oh, oh guys, we've lost catwalk and now they're smoking middle, which is like, then you've got a lot of evidence that it might be a B, B split of sorts. Yeah. But you really only had the mid smokes and I guess they just weren't or it's sold on the idea. CC's mostly and some deagles or a deagle behind it. For Navi, I don't know, a very tough start in my opinion here for the Navi team. Yeah, they win the first three. It's been four in a row now for FaZe, looking to push that on to five. Utility coming out. The nice thing for Navi against the double AWP, plenty of nades around these in, these upgraded pistols. These things have mobility, and they can they can really close the distance on the AWPs quick in a way that, you know, AKs and rifles can't. If they can find a good set piece, if they can find a mid to be split, it's a retake out of the ops. But still spread. Two players on catwalk, two players in middle, and just one player perfecto in upper dark at the moment for Navi. And now starting to consider and to probe this entrance to mid. Yeah, they're set up nicely for that. And Cold is here with the orb. I mean, again, like you were just saying, if you can run him down, but he's pretty quick to get back through the window. Tries for a bit of a flick, and he's a bit worried that someone's coming through. Definitely no broke. He's now alone inside of the bomb site. And he's going to pick up one and just buying time. Again, every second counts right now. The backup is coming, but it's just a second too long away. And now they actually are going to get that bomb plant down. They've got the Krieg inside. I don't know where that AWO. There we go. Picked up by Simple. Oh, that is the one thing you definitely don't want. Molotov in a flashbang as well. Simple even throwing the bomb into the double doors just to make sure he could get it to his teammates. Molotov is going to do absolutely nothing. No one is in that position at the back of platform. This retake, even with the weapons, good flashbang. Simple has to look away. Good trades. Simple's neutralized, but Perfecto comes through the door. And Rain's got a decision. He's got to play this game. Tap the bomb. It's a fake. Perfecto over the top. He's going to come through. Rain's got him. Rain's won it. Five to three, but the pistols almost do work. Yeah, that's... I mean, you only feel like Navi probably deserved that round for everything they put into it. It's such a different, such an interesting scenario right there with, with Rain and faking the bomb because it, it was only just put down. There was a lot enough time left on it. It's like the amount of decisions he can make is so much more varied, right? Well, keep in mind as well, um, Navi lost Nuke. That final round that they lost Nuke was Brokey sticking the defuse against yeah, Perfecto. Yeah, that's right. So he's probably thinking in his head as well, the rookie just saying, there's no way someone's sticking a defuse on me again. I'll lose the 1v1, but no one is going to do that. Yeah, that's actually, a, that's actually a really good point. That stuff definitely carries over. It looks like a much quicker B setup this time. Brokey is alone, and he is going to have to do everything right here. A kill would be great. Two might actually save the round, but flashbangs in his eyes. He can't see a single thing, and he gets completely trucked. No point in retaking it. That's a, that's a great call from Navi. That's exactly how you try and neutralize the double op setup, is get into the bomb site very quickly. And this is a round phase. They just didn't think that Navi would go to that B bomb site. Just one defender there, and it's already over. Got to save the weapons. Could do a lot of exit damage, though. Yeah, but you have to make sure those ops are far away. Nico's position in CT spawn makes me a bit nervous. 
Green and Boomich just missed each other in the middle. Fine, flamey though. And again, Boomich would probably be able to win the fight against him. Flash bang to try and take this peak. He's really, really hoping for it and simple. I'm not a lot of pressure, still gonna win the fight. And Olofmeister was the secondary lurker there. And like you said, those orbs being closed now, it's actually a disastrous round for FaZe. Yeah, this it should not be this way. I, they were way too dedicated to that hunt to try and take weapons away from Na'Vi. Too many players go down. You had you had a fine setup. Even in losing that round, the fact that you had four players on the other side of the map that could just say, save. You wanted to take those weapons away, and you've been punished for it. It's going to make things much different going forward, especially if, if Na'Vi's to win this round, because Nico has to rebuy an AWP and nades. He's down to 150. Broki is down to 150. Rain is below 1,000 as well. Olaf is going to be right below 1,000, you know, after he buys. So the economy situation for FaZe just went from, you know, pretty pretty slick. They're feeling good. Bottle service, Rolexes, champagne, all of it. And now they got nothing. Now they got nothing. Well, that is a classic story, isn't it, though? Once you get into that territory, you just burn it all up in no time flat. Tenth round, and Simple Sonic got one kill. How does that make you feel? Uh, it doesn't make me feel great, but I guess you never you never feels great when you see Simple at one kill. It means like he's you know he's someone who does some really cool stuff. But obviously, if you have four rounds and he's only got one kill, you're just like, oh, what would happen if he had five? Yeah, I mean it's it's a new story for Simple to be, to be able be able to drop you know s drop some maps here and 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 still still be pretty competitive, right? It used to be that if he didn't you know play to 100%, then there would be really nothing to talk about. Not really the case with this current version of Navi, which I think one of the reasons why people are a little bit more excited. A lot of damage on Nico early on from that fight at long, and Simple just holding it. I'm almost I'm almost glad that Molotov came in right at the end from Navi because it looked like FaZe wanted to turn that corner and challenge one more time and I think that would have been a catastrophe. So the fact that they're finally motivated to back away. They'll have to take control of Catwalk, and this is a different setup from FaZe. This time they're respecting the B hit, the mid to B play. It's a 2-1-2. Two, two. That's Cold Zera in mid with the off. That is the closest rotation to help, and this is a weak defense. This is a very weak defense. If either one of those guys goes down, the teammate is dead from the other angle. Pushing into upper dark though against Perfecto, and that that's probably what could save this for FaZe if they win this fight right away. But if even even if it takes like a couple of more seconds, then Navi will know. There's the one. They know confirmation. Definitely saw through there. So they again they kind of have to go. It's similar last time. Once you lose the rest of the map, it's time to execute because the more backup is going to be coming. Look at the phase defense. They're all rotating here. A couple of more seconds, and there'll be all five members at this bomb site. All of Meister up on top of the smoke. He gets the one electronic hiding inside of it at almost no health at all. A bullet will take him down. Surely any second now that's going to happen. Nico. Really good crossfire with that AWP inside of an electronic. Never stood a chance there. Five versus two, and Boomich. I mean, he's tried to save them once before, but this is too much to ask for. Simple. No one. Well, actually, Nico's going to be flanking him in a couple of seconds, so and they're running out of time anyway. Here, ten of them left, and Simple covering this long angle, but the bomb planted in a very unfortunate position. There should be no way that he could actually do this. One versus four. Smokes are up, and we've got Nico. Not even really going for it at the moment. They're just going to leave him down there. Well, Nico doesn't even want to risk the second off. Remember, they have no money due to the chase in the previous round, so Simple is going to be able to get a, to be able to survive with this off in hand. Still an element of danger for Navi. That's a very nice defense put on by FaZe. I appreciate that Simple, you know, didn't try and go for part of me, wanted them to have like one of those last stand kind of moments. Okay. Shoot through the box, you know, just yep. keep trying. Custer. Exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out. You're right. That is an it's it's a it's a it's a an interesting variation of a defense, right? Because you, I think you are exactly right. That A defense is really weak, and the only thing that makes it strong is the fact that they push up a dog. And is that like, Nico no longer has to worry about his catwalk? He yeah. can turn around, and I think Olaf actually played that damn near perfect as well. Smoke in the bomb site on top of the boxes to look over, get your one kill, fall back. He froze them solid as well. Utility from Nico, even with 15 HP, threw out that Molotov to slow the cross to help Olaf, threw a nade that did phenomenal damage that brought Electronic down to 12. So FaZe just, um, I mean, I think this is what got people so excited when we watched them just a couple weeks back, is they seem to have put in the dirty work. You know, they seem to have the plan, the utility placement. You know, they, they have the, the, the different ideas, comfortable playing with each other and knowing what everyone's going to do in the situation. That's something we didn't see out of them previously. Okay, that's bold. Cold here actually took that shot through the smoke, just hoping to get it right. Six to four. It's not, again, it's a pretty close scoreline right now. 
but FaZe do just seem like they have a different level. Look at this disgusting setup from Broken Rain. This, this is one of those things you uh, you hate playing against because you're going to catch one of them and you're, you're not, not going to check... clear the next corner. Nope, you just, I mean, almost certainly won't, unless you're Sip. Well, and again, <laughs> yeah, unless you're a robot. Um, this is another one of those, they just did this setup in the previous round, the 2-1-2 two, two with Cold Zero outside with the AWP. It wasn't spotted. And they want to go right back to it. They're expecting at some point for Navi to switch things up and attack that B bomb site one more time. I mean, look at the call that they made on Nuke, where they ended up stacking that that A bomb site with four people, and that was, you know, again, if you make these calls correctly from the T side, if you run into just like, what, how, like, why is this going yeah, on? Why are they a step ahead of us? There we go. Similar setup. Brokey and FaZe. I mean, last time they called a save, they ended up losing nearly everything. And this time, they're kind of, they're kind of thinking about it again. Uh, just on the edge. The bomb is already so far ticked. I'm not sure if this is anywhere near worth it here. Flamey stands up and gets at least the one kill, tapping away and almost getting a second one. They're going to clean them up. They'll yeah. still lose the round, so I guess maybe kind of worth it. But still. No, that's good. I, I think that that makes it worth it. They got all the kills. They took all the weapons away at the very least. But still two players alive. The double op is taken out of their hands. Yeah. I think Nico is waiting for maybe one more flash before taking a peek. And then he just realized they had too wide of an angle for him to feel safe going for it. But this is not too shabby. Six to five, a one round lead for FaZe on the CT side of Dust2. Frustrating for Navi, no doubt as well. Just, you know, it's great obviously to, to win another round, but just feeling like you have to put everything into it all of the time, like all of your energy to, to even pick up a single round here. It's pretty excruciating. Five to six, and it's a very, very close game once again. Rain with, uh, actually, Olofmeister with an instant headshot. Back around the corner, and they can't catch the Norwegian quite. It's going to be escaping, so good start. FaZe have gone away from that 2-1-2 setup. It's, it's given them both their recent losses in this half, so not able to find the right timing for it. And back to something a bit more standard. Rain at the A bomb site, just spotting towards Catwalk. Nico and Olaf working together to control long. And once Nico gets this angle with the AWP, I think Olaf's just going to back away. Or push in. Ooh, right to the face. There goes Flamey. Wasn't expecting. He wanted a, a fairer fight. Like an M4 on the other side, someone he could duel with back and forth. That's not even a fair fight. He's got the one bullet headshot advantage. Yeah, it's true, isn't it? Well, Olaf playing close, and he has got that Krieg to take down Boomich. Simple with the return at least, but two versus four once again. Not a lot of time left. I don't know what it would take to win this kind of a round. You at least have two smokes if you want to make it to the cross, but Simple's going to have to pick somebody off with the op. That or you save the weapons. I don't think Navi necessarily want to do that, but it might be the only real option in the two on four. And look, I mean, the Cold Zara's been doing this at the B bomb site. Olaf's has been doing it at towards long. I mean, this is one of the strengths of, of the defense on this map is if you can start to feel comfortable and confident pushing into upper dark or pushing in towards the long cave, you shrink everything. They're, they're phenomenal points on the map to gain so much information of what's happening, especially around that 40 second mark when teams are starting to set up their or line up their smokes and executes. If you can feel, you know, if you have the, if you have the balls to go for it, it can give you huge rewards. So no one hunting for the weapons. Navi not trying to throw them away. Again, maybe not the most uh, action-packed end to the round that we would all like, but it kind of makes sense from either team's point of view. I still, just if I'm... I guess three of the rounds that Navi got were from winning the pistol, so yeah. so that's sort of three of the five accounted for, but I still think it's kind of impressive that this is, this is seven of five. I, I think right now in my mind, I have a picture of FaZe being quite well in control of this game at the moment. It feels that way, even with the two recent hiccups that allowed Navi to get to five. Are they going to go for it? This is one of the rounds that they were able to win. Remember, the first time they saw the double op, they went right into a contact B play. They're going to do it one more time, but here's that setup. You mentioned it earlier. Brokey needs to be aggressive, needs to die. That's a big trade. Flamey, he checks it. He's even prepared for the setup and still loses out. Electronic up next, and it takes Simple to take out Cold Zera. But we're into a two on two. Nice flank from Boomich, and Nico just blindly trying to see if he get that shot. The bomb will go down, and it's a 2-1-2, two -two, you're right. So that uh, little trick in the corner, it kind of worked, but not as well as maybe they would have hoped for. And Simple's got one angle covered. 
Boomich is swapped out for an M4. He's on the other side, and they even have a Molotov on Boomich, so that's that's actually huge, especially now that Nico and Olaf Meister are both coming from the same side. That could limit their entry into the bomb site. Are they even going to try and go for this? It's, it seems like a huge risk. Flashbang to set it up. They're going to have one chance of it, and Nico. Just gonna turn for it inside of the bomb site. Immediate headshot. Oh! And he turns and drops Boomich. That's a ridiculous. They can't take. win. It's the bomb's gonna blow up. So they have to just bail out, but they've got at least both the kills. Oh. They survive with both the weapons. I think they can even go back and get a second AWP if that's what they choose to. He's not trying. Able, yeah, not able to find it at the end. He had the kit. I, oh man. It's there was a Molotov on the bomb. That was the last the last act of that player at car. I think that was was it Flamey? His last desperate act was to get that Molotov out. Simple dies, and he's like, hell no. So ridiculous. Wow. I mean, it's it's almost unfortunate, considering I know it might not look like anything special. Those are two tough shots for Nico to hit in sequence that quickly in that fashion. And to not even be able to defuse the bomb is, is heartbreaking. So well done from, I, I'm going to say it was Flamey. I could be wrong. I think it was Boomich. Boomich? Um, yeah, Boomich and Simple left at the end. OK. Way to, way to go, Boomich. Yeah, could be given the wrong credit, of course. Yeah, Flamey's dead right there. See? That memory is working. Well. <laughs> it's still working just fine. This Molotov, you see it come out. It's actually, wow. I mean, it's great it lands on the bomb because it's what gave away his position. Nico had no idea where that second player was until he saw the Molotov. So that's, that's a hero play. Yeah, it is a hero play. It's actually heartbreaking. I was, I was, I think I was so shocked by the fact that he got the first kill even on simple that I couldn't even believe what was going on. I was like, this is, why is he just hitting that headshot immediately? Nico, this is very uncomfortable. You don't want to be here. And backup is kind of far away. They were out on catwalk trying to do a little bit of trickery there. He's at least got a smoke to put out the Molotov, but you can still, you can have trouble escaping this position. Well, they're going to wait him out. They have no more Molotovs though. He doesn't know that yet. But he can just sit there and be comfortable. They really have no way to get to him unless he swings out this wide. I cannot believe they let him do that. <laughs> Electronic's going to be furious as well. Out in the open, they never expected it. He, he absolutely just skated out of there, didn't he? Got away with... Um, Fortune favors the bold. Yeah, I guess. Electronic, yeah, not happy. The last, last guy you expect to go down in that scenario is like everyone else is in a more dangerous position. Olaf Meister, smoke is a little bit late, and they know that he's there, but back up again is right behind him. Still goes down to Perfecto, and I think just FaZe losing a little bit of control in this round for no good reason. That did not seem like it was necessary at all. No, they never had information of how progressed that long attack was going to be. Nico, there's a chance that he's got it. He came right back to the perfect position in the car, snaps onto the head. Here we go, three on three, and this retake is definitely going to happen. Two kits on Brokey and Nico. Wow. Oh, and Perfecto was there with the Deagle in return. Going to go all the way down, two on two now in this round. And, I mean, we're near the end of the half. You need this round. Simple, going to win the fight, and Boomich with the other one. And Navi tie it all up. They're at 7-7. Seven, seven. I still can't really believe that. But FaZe... Ever since you said FaZe was in control of this game, it's been all Navi. Yeah, I know. How does that make you feel? Well, yeah, I think yeah. Yanko's gonna be mad at you. I know. It's just, you know, don't really wanna, don't wanna deal with that, do I? I cannot believe Nico got away with that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be yeah. pissed as well. I'd be like, he's in the open. There's four <laughs> more of you people here. <laughs> I forgot to install those bulletproof glass in the in the car and see the result right there. Yeah. That was, I think, around where we can criticize Phase quite a bit. Maybe the desk will after the uh, after half or after the map here, but that was um. It's just another round where the information gathering got away from him. Olaf, yeah. that smoke when it throws it when they're already coming up the railing, it's missed its mark. It's not effective. It definitely backfired. Fifteenth round, last one of the half, and the money for Phase is dreadful. So they've got deagles and a five seven and a couple of flashbangs, but. But this is the way to have money issues if you're on the CT side, is wait to the last round. They've been they've been pretty much fine most of the way through this half. Yeah, that is a good point. And you never want to count out phase when it comes to Deagles, do you? Yeah, almost won one earlier. A three man set up with the Deagles at the A bomb site. This time Rain's gonna get aggressive and it's a bit of a fake, but he's going to call it out. There's no one here. So towards mid, Navi readjusts the point of attack. And unfortunately, it's just really Brokey and Cold's era. That's unbelievable. Brokey, it's your turn next. He actually shot in mid-air as well. 5-7, and I think he got caught just a little bit. Oh, no! Oh, no! 
He takes down Simple as well. That is so ridiculous. The second shot's not supposed to be that accurate. Nico in a one versus two, and I, this should bring an end to the madness. They know he's here. They definitely heard him jump down. He's trying to see if he could do it one more time, and he's going to get denied an eight to seven win at the end. But still, the madness from these Deagle shots, it's... It's truly magnificent. There are some very close rounds in this half that just slipped away from FaZe, but you got to give props to Navi for taking an 8-7 to seven lead somehow into the second half. We'll be right back after the break. Inside of me Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Second half going to be coming right at you here. Second map as well between FaZe and Na'Vi at Intel Extreme Masters and Katowice. It's still day one, and we've already seen some really high levels of Counter-Strike, and that's only going to get better throughout the uh, whole tournament here. Second half, I can't believe Na'Vi got eight rounds. I don't know if I'm just underselling them or what's happening. I just feel like... I don't, I don't, it, it's a surprise to me that they've even got that. I, I feel like the thing, it felt so dominant for FaZe and they just, it kind of slipped away from them. Even even their last four rounds that they won, one was, you know, FaZe, I mean, Navi just saving a round out. One of them, you know, three diffuses. So Navi started finding success of getting into the bomb site, getting closer to the objectives, getting closer to the goals. And eventually it just swung entirely in their favor. They ended this half on, on a three to nothing run to close out their T side. It's like one of those gymnastic routines where it's all good, but the landing, and then... And then you break your ankle. Yeah. Kind of what happened. And then, uh, I mean, Navi swoop right in. Pommel horse and, you know. <laughs> all we need DDK things. here for these gymnastic references. We do. We could We could get that. I think that could be some interesting content in the middle of, uh, you know, just m maybe for the break. We should have, you know, DDK should do death segments while doing the rings. He, you could talk him into that. I think it's... A, <laughs> yeah, it's almost nothing you couldn't talk Dan into at the same time. So, you know, I feel like it's... It's true. There is there is a way to make that happen. What do you think about this buy coming out from FaZe in the pistol round here? We've got two smokes and a Molotov and a flashbang. So a fair bit of utility. 
No P250. Yeah, I, well, I like that. Remember, the, the pistol round that Navi ran, they only had the smoke and the two flashes, and they just used it for a CT spawn drop. So this allows a little bit more of an opportunity. Cold Zero can use that Molotov towards back platform. You can force whoever's playing behind the box, if anyone, out into the open. And that might actually come to fruition, although Flamey not going all the way back. There's the initial smoke. I imagine they want to see what kind of a response they're going to get. Maybe time this with the spam. Okay, just quick with the reload. Could be very important. Perfecto's not that far away, so we'll see. Nico ready to set that up. That is an interesting addition now that you can actually throw those smokes through the ceiling. Flamey, big of a peek. He's waiting for the flashbang from a teammate, and there it is, and that sets him up nicely for a kill, but he's also blind in return out in the open, and no one can save him there. Electronic trying to come through, but Nico drops him, and now Perfecto waiting in the window, and he needs a kill right here. This four on three retake is gonna be really, really tough once the bomb goes down. And yeah, no one can really stop that from happening. Oh, that smoke is so effective. Thrown from the safety of the B tunnels right into the double doors. That's brutal for the defense. They had to wait so long for that to clear. Kept flaming nice and isolated. Retake, gonna be tough. Boomich making noise as he swings in. Nico's got him broke, he's got simple. And Nico's got one more, eight to eight. That actually, I mean, that's going to be a tough retake no matter what, but that made so much sense because I'm pretty sure Simple had seen the the gun showing from behind the box. So I think he's just telling Boomich, you know what, you, we're, we're going to have to do this somehow. So you just go in and let's hope that the guy behind the box is the first guy to peek because I'll take him right down and then, we, you know, we can continue. But guy playing the box didn't actually peek, so... <laughs> it was the guy in the sight. Yep, so then there's not much left to do. Well done. I have to give props too, though. Whoever threw that flashbang for Flamey inside the bomb site, that blinded everyone. That was a perfect flashbang. That, that was blinded like three Flay's players. It blinded Flamey himself. No one could. They bought him an extra like four seconds of life. Yeah, he, he had that going for him. Yeah, I think that was Perfecto for middle, if I'm not wrong. Shout out Perfecto. Yeah, he's been playing much better, I think, over the you know since since we saw him the first time, anyway. Yeah, he's uh he's even 11 and 11 at the moment, leading Navi, tied with Boomich at 11 kills. Defense, kind of an interesting buy that, especially on Boomage, armor, CC, and a Molotov. It's one of those things where you're like, probably not going to make any difference having that Molotov in a round like this. But there is, you know, one in a hundred rounds where it's the, it's the, you know, exactly the tool that you want. Down on long, like, you know, they, they only got 10 seconds and they want to plant the bomb and you're like, ah, guess what I have. You know? <laughs> guess what I've got. I mean, you, you see those rounds sometimes where you're like, because otherwise I would say almost invariably like a smoke or a flashbang would be more useful in almost all rounds right mm -hmm. uh but fair play to boomage looks like it's going to be perfecto and flamey though that are going to be in a lot of trouble here they have deagles though and flamey actually has a smoke and an he's and there's only 30 seconds oh this could get very interesting hey i think they'll be just fine flamey yeah the question is which one do you do you block off he goes for the door Flashbang out mid, slows things down. Yeah, they need to start moving. 20 seconds now, and there's the MAC-10. And yeah, Perfecto going down, and even with the clock on their side, Navi can't hold it. Save from the remaining three players, or at least uh, set up positions to punish some exits, but FaZe is exiting in the other direction. Yeah, and all of us realized already. Take that snipe. Pretty accurate P250 arrange. It's nice to see. Okay, Electronic still goes down. Simple is there to flick away at them in the meantime in the middle. I, um, I don't know. I, he had the HE. I guess it's hard to know when to actually throw that. But I like the setup where they actually, they smoke the door and then they flash for Flamey to take that peek. Um, I think that's a, that's a cool idea inside of that B defense. I, I still think that was, I mean, it, they made it look pretty clean face and taking it, but yeah. actually that was a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's about all you can do. The other option is smoke off the tunnels and try and have both of you pop flash over one peek door, one peek window. Hard to always pull it off, but nine to eight. One round lead for FaZe. There was a, a point in time a while ago where um, where Titan came up with this idea of <laughs> of smoking of, I know. Um, <laughs> listen, it's a little bit of a reference, but um, uh, whenever they would be faced with one of those B splits, they would just smoke off the, the double doors and then they would push two people into upper dark and just take the fight. Yeah. So you can have the B bomb side, but we'll try Ooh, Okay. That is an opening to the round. Simple's here. He's arrived. He had a very quiet first half. You'd hope that's going to light a fire, get him started. He's going to have to help Navi get over the finish line. Good trade back. Good equalizing kill for Nico. And now he can just hold the corner while his teammate slowly slides out. This worked perfectly. By the book. 
Yeah, that's everything you want. Like now. if if Nico and Cold Zero wrote a guidebook on Counter Strike, how to take long A, that would have that would have been it. I wonder if they would be able to. I feel like I feel like they're probably two of the players that you know you wouldn't actually get much out of reading it. Do you ever get that feeling, Wes? <laughs> Wait, wait, what feeling? Ooh, simple. It's another tag. He's already got two. Could have been a third one there. No, I'm just saying that there are some players where, you know, they're so intuitively brilliant at playing the game. But yeah. then when you ask them about something, like you, you've got some question in your mind, you're like, hey, tell me about this. And the answer you get is just nothing that you could use for anything. And it's not because, you know... It's just so ingrained in yeah. how they play the game that they just they don't even think about it. So yeah. they can't walk you through the process. Exactly, right? You, you're not going to get like a, a really nice laid out you know, flow chart of what's going on. <laughs> you're just going to get like, you know, yeah, it's just when it feels right. You do just like, okay. Yeah, turn the corner and shoot him in the face. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's what I needed to hear. So Simple eventually gets dropped and, I, you know, they took a little bit of damage. I don't think they care. 10 to 8 is the scoreline now that Na'Vi could pick up the rifles and Simple's got that AWP. And you're right, he had a very slow first half. Now he's on the CT side with the AWP. Could definitely be done. Ooh. All right. Couple nice shots. All right, here we go. Two round lead for FaZe. AWP now in Simple's hands. Instead of the scout, Brokey is going to be challenging down mid. This is one of the roles that Brokey picked up just by virtue of being awesome at it. Like, it was not originally planned for him to pick up the AWP, but he's just so damn impressive, you couldn't take it away once he got started. I don't mind that. Merit based sniping, that's a good idea. Perfecto going down. That was just, you know, some shots ringing through the smoke from all of my stuff. And that feels real bad. If you're Navi, this is this is the important buy round, right? And it starts out with something that you're like, you can't even really do much about. Boomich will take down Cold Sirius. That's a nice return. He did take a lot of damage for it. It looks like FaZe is starting to say, this B side's looking wide open. Let's go for it. They could be wrong. Well, I mean, they're going to take the gamble, though, because of the pick. You know their defense is at least weakened inside the site which means mid might be easier to take. This at least needs to be a trade. Flamey cannot get two kills. No one's checked it just yet. There's the first. Oh, they swung way too wide, but the mid stack is effective. And there's finally the smoke put up at the double doors. One is going to cross. That's Brokey with the bomb. And Nico is ready to cover as well. That was very close to flaming, I think, getting a second kill inside. And yeah, they had electronics boosted up to look over the mid smoke, so he got that kill, no problem. Simple as a Molotov in the tunnels. If he can actually get it back there, I don't think he'll have the time, but that could be huge. Yeah, the problem is clearing the corner, they actually throw it, right? You could be dead before that even happens. There's a bit of a setup. There we go. The toss is in, and they almost line up for him. Nico gets one, but then Simple's there for the return. And now Brokey down on the low ground at the bomb site. Bomb is ticking away, and it's I'm... quite far ticked. Yeah, there's almost no time left. They're still running for it. They don't have a kit picked up. Brokey, he's going to get one and almost picks up the second. It doesn't matter in terms of the time here. Simple. Oh, he got off it. I don't know. I don't think he would have had time anyways, but he certainly got off it and got back on. He's going to bail out with a bomb. Eliminate him. Yes, it will. Takes the op out of his hands. 11 to 8. And yeah, wow. frustration. Yeah, that was, I mean, it was slightly closer than I thought, actually, but I don't know if there was a kit anywhere in the bomb site that he could have, uh, you know, got on the way there. That's what's really hard to know. I thought Nico was going to be the frustrated one after he kind of uh, tried to get out of the flames and realized he would just commit to that second fight. He was going down no matter what. Back to pistols on the Navi side. Struggling again slightly with the economy, but so is FaZe. This is the this is the thing that Navi have to keep in mind all of the time right now is they keep doing the damage, they keep getting a bunch of kills in some of these rounds, so you have to you have to keep the pressure up. Get at least two or three kills in this round, and then you know it's still possible to get get back in the game. It is this this force by style is just like a it's just a stressful way to play Counter Strike, isn't it? You're always on the edge. There's some utility. Rain's gonna come right through an opponent's Molotov, due to the fact that he has his own in place. A little bit of damage, but he's got control of Catwalk, and he's just forcing more utility and more smokes and nades out of the hands of Navi very early in the round. Playing Counter Strike in a similar style as to the one that Chad is doing on social media. It's really <laughs> just, you know, hard life, isn't it? So, uh, Electronic with a flashbang to set it up there on Catwalk, and they try and push through the smoke and don't, don't find anyone. Phase a little bit too far back. And just even hearing that, you're like, oh, I know that that's at least two people involved in that, and let's just wait around. Navi's being very patient on Catwalk. No one has peeked out. Rain was very exposed for some time, but look how much bodies. They're keeping two bodies on Catwalk, two bodies in middle. 
One has just come back to the B bomb plane. Olaf's got that perfecto. He gets the first. It's not quick enough, but here's some trades coming in. Electronic has rotated over. It's only simple. One versus three, but he's got two players pretty low. Yeah, you need some some real tricks to try and fight this one. He's got no armor or anything. There was a chance. He's not going to get another one. Put Cold Sierra down to three health, but that's it. Phase with another round. Now leading by four. Nico up at 21 kills, leading the uh, the whole server at the moment. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, this phase team is coming in, uh, working really well together. All five players looking on point, much like they were a couple weeks ago. Good shot from Cold Zera here down the stretch. The zoom in. 12 to 8, back to the weapons, back to the rifles for Navi. AWP in the hands of Simple. I love that on Catwalk. Yeah, alone on Catwalk as well. We saw FaZe on the CT side go for a fair few boosts where they sort of you know, tried to look over down into the lower dark. But yeah, it's simple. Oh, the timing is so ridiculous. He was surely set up for that jump, or at least set up for the, uh, you know, potential for uh, for someone to actually jump up on the box. And he was flashed in the meantime. I think, he, I, I, think I think he actually saw Nico before the flash popped. <laughs> I think he just went for a timing reaction, but it is, oh, he's got another one. That, okay, now it's all impressive. He's dialed in, isn't he? Yeah. He's in the zone. You hope it's in time. Navi needs a comeback, back by four rounds. But he's got them at a big advantage in this one. The key for Navi not only is winning this, but keeping the players alive. The money is just is just gross looking. You need to have three, four players survive this round. Yeah, they have a hundred and well, I guess they have three hundred and fifty dollars left on them total, so that's that's an issue. Bit of noise being made. They're starting to all group up this way. I was wondering if they were going to go for, for some sort of a B-split, but it feels like they're actually going to stick around, maybe leaving all of Meister in, in middle to defend that. Oh, they're bringing the bomb back. I don't know. This is this is very scary. Electronic down and CT spawn. Rain going to try and make the jump down, but Electronic catches him. Big kill coming through here for Navi, and now inside of the bomb site, double defense. This should be strong enough to hold back Broki and all of Meister. No issue. They need yeah. to save. I think they just back yeah. off. Yeah, Brokey can drop an AK-47 in the next round. Cold Zero will be able to buy, so you need to keep these guns in your hands. But Boomich, I like this call. He's going for it, and he wants to take at least one of the weapons away. He won't be too committed of moving past this point, but maybe just one last peek deep in past C or back past T spawn right yeah. after the timer. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, again, they don't have a great economy either, Navi, so throwing anything away is also risky. All right. Well, that was... That was like a, there were a lot of waiting around in that round for for it to sort of fizzle out with with the mid part not really working out. This is an interesting little talking point. One timeout left on phase. We've used three, so one left for regulation. And if it goes to overtime, there's there's no way for Yanko to get involved in the conversation. It'll be all on the fly. So try to give him the last. Does piece that mean one left? Or does it mean they've used the? I it means there's one left. Genuinely confused. All right. Hmm. I think. <laughs> <laughs> you said it with such confidence I and then you're like wait a minute this is I mean this is quite impressive he did absolutely see him you're right but still the timing is uh, is, is impeccable flashbang if that was like a half a second earlier I don't think Electronic even knows where to shoot at that point in time so some close calls in that round 12 to 9 now brokey has got that AWP they've got some AKs to ride along with it and all of Meister with a Deagle and he's going to be running straight down the middle. He wants to take this fight, Brokey. He's actually just so aggressive about it. Sees him, but Simple is a bit quicker, at least this time. And maybe we talked about Simple maybe finding the zone finally. Yeah, well, match. Brokey gave him a nice easy peek there. They'd already been spotted out. Brokey knew exactly where Simple was. He knew he already had the angle and still went for it. Simple sees a jump. Woo! They're really playing a dangerous game with Simple at the moment. That's the second time he's tagged someone through the crack in this double doors. Olaf in the previous round. They picked up the ult back there. All of Meister's trying to edge in a kill against him. And on the other side, over at Long, Boomich is holding. Could be an interesting. Simple's backed off. He's saying, you know, it's not worth it really to do anything here. Still a 4 on 4, though. Boomich on Flamey at the crossfire. This could be huge. Flamey actually goes down, and they go for the return fight. Nico's right out there. But if he goes down, that's the bomb drop as well. Oh, he gets the AK out just in time. And that's a bit of a victory. 50 seconds left for a 3 versus 2. And now we are actually way on the other side of the map. And Rain, 
You could hear them if they try and rotate too quickly. Nico passed the uh, AK over to Olaf and took the alt, but he needs to pass the bomb over as well because you're going to want Nico to remain at long. There's, there's the bomb transfer. Nico with the half HP, just going to sit back towards pit, cover Olaf's progression. Smoke comes down deep for CT spawn. They didn't have a second one to full, do the full wall, so this will do. Olaf going to cross over with the flashbang. No peek through the smoke. Everything is covered. And FaZe look like they're going to get a 13th round. But the one hiccup could be the bomb not planted for Nico. I was going to say that that's a str that not the best bomb plant position necessarily, but I guess they just wanted to go for it right away. It's safe. It's safe is what it is. Yeah. And they, they don't want to risk it here, Navi. And it's hard really to blame them. Again, their economy has been really struggling quite a bit. That was... A good fight for Nico to win. Obviously, a double kill in the round for him. He also was the one that set up the deep smoke, by the way, towards CT spawn. So, doing a lot of jobs all at once. I, I still have to question the part where they're jumping around in middle against simple. You know? Maybe leave that for another time. <laughs> that is a very, very bold game to play. You ever seen those videos on the internet with people who, you know, try and play those games with those snapper turtles? You know, where they're like, you know, trying to get their hand closer or whatever. It's like the lightning fast. I have seen that. You, the the noodling is the more intense one. The Ask Tra Trace about that. He knows all about noodling. All right. Well, it's when you go fishing for catfish with your hands, but it's in muddy water. Ah. Soft water. But like, you know, one time out of 20, you go to put your hands in the mud to get a catfish, and it's a, it's a turtle. And it's a and turtle. you lose a finger. So, Dude, even a catfish, they get huge, don't they? They do get massive. I don't know. I, I'm out. Listen, I'm not playing that game. He's from Alabama, right? <laughs> That's right. That, and then dust. I bet they go on some, some noodling dates. That sounds like not my kind of game. <laughs> Boomich failed to smoke over there at long. Electronic is going down, and now Boomich is kind of just fighting, and he actually is going to win the fight against Rain, but that was all based off of a, of a potentially very dangerous mistake. Back in a 4 on 4, though, they boosted Simple up in the A bomb site, and Flamey's down in the middle with the other AWP that. Do FaZe know about this yet, even? I'm not sure if they do. If they do. No, likely not. Olaf close up. They're going to double peek this. Surely you think? Oh, Brokey. Again, just walking right into the op shot. There's the trap set and sprung. Two man advantage for Navi. Yeah, Cold and Nico. It's going to be. Again, you need, you need some help from Navi here to get back in a two on four round. Standing inside of the smoke, and it clears. That's a trick that Navi are really, really well used to. They do it themselves half the time, but Cole coming out on top. And now that it changes the round a bit, they still have two Molotovs and a smoke. They could try and do this. Flamey sneaking in and pretty much defusing any threat in this round. That's a nice play. Cole, then he's even got Nico right at the end. 23 kills on Nico. That's not going to be one of them. 13 to 10. I would like you mentioned you're going to need. They're going to need some help from Navi to win that round. I want to see Faze give some help. I don't. I don't know if it's maybe Faze not giving him help or him not calling for help. But that's twice now you've seen Brokey with the op just kind of dry peek into another opper who already has an angle. Yeah. I'd like to see some like at least one or two flashbangs allocated to him. And it might be a case where maybe he is just taking that fight on his own without calling for a flashbang. Maybe you know. Yeah, I know but what you mean, though. Those are low percentage fights for oppers to win, and it's they're fights we frequently see most of the top oppers these days not even touch. Like, if you know another opper has the angle, you just don't mess with it, unless it's an absolute last last resort. Yeah, and you're right. The meta game sort of would, then would be, you know, call in a flashbang to flash that guy off the angle, then you go take it, and then yep. they, at least they have to do the same thing, and you can, you know, shuffle back and forth however long you want, but until somebody runs out of flashbangs. <laughs> or life. Just all ten of them in the middle, just trading places. Pistols and not even that many uh, upgraded ones. Cold Zero and Brokey. I'm disappointed they didn't give one of these eagles to Rain. I feel like he's he's been having. Has he earned it? Just slightly one. He's everyone, earned the deagle. Everyone's been hitting crazy deagle shots, but surprised he didn't just drop five deagles for his team. He's got 4,200. Yeah, you're right. He's hoarding all the newspapers. Electronic. Right on the other side with Rain there. Smoke is going to be fading, and Rain just wants to try and come through. He actually dinked Brokey anyway. That's pretty aggressive. Well, if he had the Deagle. There we go. That's the takeaway. <laughs> if he had the Deagle. Perfecto is going to play it passively. Yeah, there's no blaming. I mean, again, this, you know, don't make the mistakes. Hopefully, now we have the routine and the confidence in the team. This is this is what you need. Yeah, look how disciplined they're being. Yeah. No one's even peeking anything. Everyone's just so far back. I like it. Yeah, it's, it is really, really important. It's one of the, actually one of the mistakes that 
has been sort of a problem for Navi, even in past versions of this lineup has been, you know, exactly these kind of small rounds where you say it, it, the round is pretty much won, but then you end up losing way more than you need to, and that comes back to haunt you later on. So it's good to see that they're not doing that, building an economy, keeping all five people alive behind the double up setup, 13 to 11. This could go all 30 rounds. We yeah. could be heading that way. And yeah, Navi's doing a very good job of coming back into this. Very impressive stuff. Good kill from Simple. But here we go. Weapons back in the hands. You've got the AWP on Brokey one more time. We haven't seen that really ring out. That hasn't really been a factor for FaZe's T side. And I think we're getting another timeout here. Navi calls it. He has got the, I think, the closest spawn towards Long Brokey. So that could be something there. OK. Yeah, I mean, we frequently see t teams talk about how spawn based Dust 2 is on the T side. Like, if someone has that long spawn, just give them the AWP and have them go for it. Just go for that one timing peak. You don't have to commit to the fight. Just take the shot and get out. Just run. It is a, f it is a fun, fun trick. Everyone enjoys that. Everyone should try that every once in a while, even if you're not the main AWP. Just, you know, give it a shot. Look at the way this pendulum has swung in this half. It was five to nothing run to start the second half for FaZe. Now it's three of the last four going towards Na'Vi. Face struggling to get back into the uh, the winning ways, back into the momentum. Brokey does not take advantage of the long spawn. No, instead smoking so that his team, I'm assuming, could go into lower dark, although they're not even doing that, so... Guess we'll see. Seems like a, a call to just hit the B bomb site. Brokey's gonna be in mid with the AWP, wants to pick off just one rotator coming off catwalk or coming in mid. That's a good nade. They're not quite around the corner just yet. Perfecto. He has to pray for a huge spray down here. Otherwise, Flamey's going to be in trouble. They're jumping over, and he's not connecting now. He's flashed as well, but hiding in the corner. Still hasn't reloaded. He gets a double anyway. That's a huge double for Perfecto to pick up, and a nice shot from Flamey. He repeats, and Nico can't see a single thing, and the B defense working way better than it started out. How did nobody know that Perfecto was there? I didn't even think they were blind, but that, I mean, Stellar play right behind that smoke and they could just never find him. Maybe the flashbangs ruined the, the audio cues, the sound, and they just couldn't turn around. No, no, the communication not coming in. He was doing the old T-Rex trick. Like, it looks like he's film. fully out of the smoke. Yeah, they can't see you if you're out of the Yeah. Still move. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Maybe their field of vision was different. <laughs> now I can't get the T-Rex vision out. <laughs> uh, I've got... A lot of a lot of places I want to go with this particular line of, uh, <laughs> but we'll leave it for now. We all know dinosaurs aren't real. Listen, <laughs> don't know no, sure. don't do it. Don't even. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given you the temptation. You know what? I'll. <laughs> that wasn't one of the conspiracies I'm into, Jason. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I love dinosaurs. Up the catwalk we go. No utility. Just the deagles. Just the upgraded pistols. Faye's going to try and brute force their way into a bomb site guarded by Electronic and Simple. Just think, I think he wanted the Molotov to go the other way, but I don't think it really matters. They're going to be run boosting. We love this. It's either great or it's hilarious. He gets picked off in the air and a Ooh. team kill. Nico, so excited to get the Deagle headshots that it'll just take whatever he can. I'm going to try and just get this bomb planted. Rain might have to sacrifice himself, but Simple gives up. He's going for the round win. He doesn't care about the kill under the into the path into the bomb site. They'll retake this happily. It's just the two deagles, Nico and Cold Zero, that remain. Yeah, and they already know where one of them is. Like, Nico can't have got out. Cold will land a headshot, so that's cause for concern. Nico actually gets one more right as he goes down, and now Cold is trying to be a little bit elusive. Stands up for one chance, and they know where he is. He oh. should be going down. He hits one more. He knows where he is. He's got one last chance. He's low on health. And Perfecto, he's got to be nervous on the other side. He's playing against Cold Sierra, but it doesn't matter. He just managed to Wait. pick it up with the... Oh. I think the dead body hit the bomb, but he's still got it. Plenty yeah. of time. Everybody calm down. <laughs> a moment of sheer panic there. It looked like he was about to be in trouble, but the USP came out, and he actually looked like he was holding it, uh, you know, keeping it cool at that moment. moment. That could have been scary. <laughs> I would have forgiven Perfecto if he'd had the nerves against him there. Yeah. That was a, a very nice attempt. That's a that's a two on four. One of the strengths, I mean, we always mention the skill on phase, Cold Zero and Nico bring it back against some of the best players in the world. Deagle shots ringing out left and right. Almost a clutch for Cold Zero. Brokey gonna take a shot crossing mid. And this time they will take advantage of the long spawns. Olaf's already out. They've beat the defense. Electronic spams to the smoke, but no HP is lost on either side until just now.
Yeah, Rain losing all of the all of the uh, HP back. And his head. I think. I don't know. It looked like Olofmeister actually wanted to continue, but no one setting out with any kind of a flashbang. All tied up 13 13. And a potential good start here for Navi. That could be huge. Spending a lot of resources, Abe Molotovs and everything on taking down Boomich, and they'll be successful. They're throwing everything at him. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. They'll be happy with that. All four players at long as well. So, I mean, if you're going to have all four players here, you might as well use the utility while you've still got it to make sure that first player gets taken out. It's going to be a tough path to get in here. They have the smokes for the long cross. Two players to defend. One inside the site, simple at elevator. Smoke is down. Remaining passive for the moment. Second smoke to complete the wall. Molotov comes out late. I don't think that's going to do anything. Smoke in the bomb site. Electronic is forced back. Oh, he's just trying to stay hidden. Simple with the one jump. Does he want to go for it again? He can't actually see anything. And now they're almost coming through the smoke. Yes, oh. indeed they are. Nico with a double kill and taking down Perfecto 2. Flamey, no chance at all. Faze about to be at 14 rounds here. Did they just line up for Nico to get a double or he transfer that over? Because I think Perfecto was rotating into that direction. But that is a nice knockout punch from FaZe. Flamey has to save the op. Money is going to start being an issue for Na'Vi that they'll have to consider. I wonder if... I wonder if Symbol was wanting to throw that Molotov behind the car for Electronic to go for a wide peek. Because then it's super helpful, right? Knife? Oh, yeah, he's going to go for it. What a way to end the round. He's got a quad kill. The last one, the knife. And that puts him at 28 kills overall. He's... She's back. She's like, feeling pretty good. Olaf was just like, wow, you went for a knife. And he was like, yeah, hell yeah, I went for the knife. <laughs> yeah, I have to appreciate it. Boomich being dead in more, more ways than one here. Yeah, this is just, again, that's quick. <laughs> he even tried to transfer over one more time. He would just start shooting at the wall. Like, if there's more people, just bring him. He was geared up and ready to go. All right. Last time out for Navi. I'm sure of it this time. Well, now it makes sense. Now it's... <laughs> you know. uh, just give me some credit. Navi's going to talk things over. One final chance. That's a nice run. Four rounds in a row before FaZe put a stop to it. Five of the last seven have gone to the favor of Navi. It's still not enough. This is the last, uh, last buy they'll have. If they lose this, they'll be playing for the series life with just pistols. Yeah, which, you know, on Dust 2 is not always a picnic. Setting up for that long smoke, Brokey, just holding it a little bit. And actually, yeah, they're just delaying. I was wondering if they were going to go for it. It seemed like he would have been delayed. So, slightly later than normal, flashing their way through. And Boomich is here on the corner with the CC, and he's not going to have a chance. He just acts up immediately. Very similar as the last round, in fact. And no response from Navi. Some of what FaZe were doing, which was very cool when they were on the CT side, was, you know, when they, whenever they lose sort of one part of the map, they would go and then try and push into Upper Dark, for instance, and they would they would get some other part of the map in return. Yeah. Now we kind of need some of that every once in a while. Like right now, especially because the the weapons, they need to know what's coming. Well, they need to know. Yeah, they certainly do, but all five players here at long. Like, you can know that there's a long hit coming, but you might think it's only three players. It's everyone from FaZe, and this is the same exact thing as last round. They, Navi had one pick, and it was the four remaining players from FaZe out towards long, and look, four Molotovs, two smokes. They've got the two smokes for the wall, and they can just burn every position at this A-bomb site. They can, and here's another detail to maybe keep an eye on. Last time, Simple got smoked out, and he didn't really get a chance to do anything, so you wonder mentally, is he going to want to say, I'm just going to fight. You know, I want to fight in front of the smokes. I don't want to just get blocked off and I die. I hope so. God, I hope so. Well, now might be the time for it. 30 seconds. He's creeping around the edge. Yeah, he's certainly thinking about it. He wants to go harder than this time, and he takes down Nico. That's the bomb, and no one's calling it. Another flick. Simple. He wants another. He'll get it as well. Taking down Brokey. A leg shot, and that's going to be it. A quad kill for Simple in the round. Taking every single one down that was beautiful did not want to get blocked off wanted to fight for it and he got everything he could have had there i mean that's you mentioned it you you knew it as well the one round you're going to neutralize him the next one he's going to come back even harder he'll make up for it and that is a beautiful sequence from simple helped out by boomich that one kill on rain kept plenty of spacing between simple and the attack from phase he had plenty of time and plenty of safety to just reload that AWP and go for the follow-up peak. Really nice quad kill in the round for Simple to keep Navi alive. 14-14 into round 29. And Rain is out mid so quick, but Electronic is ready and waiting. 
through the fire he went. Could have maybe caught him off guard, but Electronic really quickly on that one. I feel like FaZe has had a big issue getting opening kills in these past, this past stretch of round that Navi has kind of come back into this game. The early rounds have not been treating them kindly. And again, a lot of bodies. This is now three rounds in a row that three plus players for FaZe are going to be out towards long. If Boomich goes down, oh, oh no, he's out in the open. If he dies, that A defense is going to be very weak. He does a bit of damage, but Simple, can he get any kind of a grenade down here to help him? I feel like he needs something to make this work. Oh, a headshot will certainly do it, and Simple takes down Nico, and just like that, now we are on map point almost certainly here. All of Meister and Brokey, there should be nothing that they could do from this position. Now we just need to keep that cool and not fight for this. Phase, this attack has become one-dimensional. So, so much emphasis on long A. Brokey, that's his first kill in some time. He's been on 11 for at least five rounds. Been struggling to find impact with the AWP, and now he's all alone. One versus four. Ooh, bit too fast. Yeah, definitely feeling it. I mean, he's hunted by four people, so I guess... Just feeling nervous. Everything's, in a, everything's an enemy. Every noise, every sound. It's just him in the jungle. Yeah. One of those police obstacle courses where, you know, <laughs> after half the wooden plates, uh, you know, just hostages, just <laughs> shooting all of them. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Brokey now. Top mid. Dan and David making a ton of noise. The leg Listen, shot. He's, he's got a... They're going to kill him after the time, I would imagine. They have... Ooh, they don't really have a great amount of money to chase. This could actually be spicy. If he gets this kill, that's actually huge. This actually turned out very well for Brokey and FaZe. If he keeps the AWP, and he will. Ooh. So he doesn't get any bonus money, and he's taken a decent amount of weapons away. This is the last round. We'll see if it actually hinders anything that Nobby's going to be able to fight with. That's... I don't know. A, a, another weird round. You said one-dimensional, and I think that's... That's probably the key phrase at the moment. That long push has been happening, you know, very much in the same fashion for a while. Brokey would have loved a random shot, but we're fighting for overtime right now on the phase side, and now we just want that third map to try and see if they can get some revenge. Simple, missed opportunity. But they don't have that much to fight with on the phase side either. I mean, this is very, very limited. Double Molotovs on Cat to force back the defense. And actually, they've got this, they've got the A defense in a very weird spot. Most of their attacks have been coming from long. Navi has emphasis on Catwalk, but they can't actually fully commit to the staircase. Electronic, he needed more. Simple's got one. He's sticking around for more. He wants to go for a follow-up peek, but Olaf is ready. And three players now have access to the A bomb site. Molotov is gonna slow him down, but it's open for business. That's some experience as well, just, you know, the, the style of Simple, him sticking around, you could see they definitely knew that phase. The Molotov is going to be a bit too late, I mean, it'll do some damage to Brokey, but that will be a bomb plant, a very important swift one as well. No more grenades on the phase side, whereas at least Navi have the one and they have kits as well. So if they get up into a defuse scenario, oh, nice shot from Brokey, we said a bit missing, but the last couple of rounds definitely been hitting some shots and all of Meister waiting for it. He's going to try and go for the repeat, gets a headshot on Flamey and that leaves Perfecto. One versus two. A bit of a jump just to try and see if he can bait out the shot. He's going to pick it up. Can he actually bring them onto that third map? He's got Olaf in the corner, and I think he knows it as well. That AK-47 could pepper it right through. He wins the fight for the turnaround. He's got the kid as well. He's got the map. He's right on it, and that's going to be 16 to 14 as Navi will bring us on to a third map here in Katowice. What a battle this is. What a nice clutch from Perfecto to end that map. Remember, he had two clutches in that very same spot. It had it earlier against Cold Zero with the USP. That is an impressive performance from Navi. A map that felt like it was just continuously slipping away from them. They just grabbed control right at the end. That is that is a great performance from a Navi team that had to take this to a third map. So we're heading to a break. We have the desk. 